The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. I'm curious for, for women out there who get their breast implants removed and they have the fat transfer, what is that like going forward for them? Is the recovery quick? And then is that a permanent solution for them? How, how does that work? Yes, I mean, it's a, it is a permanent solution. So you, you keep about two thirds of the fat that you graft forever. Now those, they're living fat cells, so if you gain weight, they can actually get bigger. If you lose weight, they can get a little smaller, but they're never gonna go away. So, uh, so for, I mean, forever, she's gonna have bigger breasts. Now sometimes patients come in and they have like say 500 cc implant, big implants, and they wanna maintain that size. It's hard to achieve that with one fat graft session. But gotcha. you can do a second one. You can come back after the heel and do it again, and I have patients but, like that. But it is the most natural way to enhance a woman's breast. And we learned through our experience with breast reconstruction, which yes. you do a lot I of, do. and then we started adding fat transfer to our reconstructions, mm -hmm. and said, well, why not use it for cosmetic purposes yeah. too? And we know that, that fat is a component of all women's breasts. There's the gland, there's the fat. Mm -hmm. Fat is a great way to, to enhance that Co breast. Completely natural, and of course we can do it without an implant too. We, I have patients that come to me just want bigger breasts. We go straight to fat, forget the implant entirely. Now, nowadays, most plastic surgeons who do breast implants are offering this as a treatment, or do you have to do your research if you're looking yeah. for the fat transfer, find, find the right doc? Yeah, for sure, I wouldn't say most doctors are offering it, though more and more, okay. because the, the, the docs that are getting trained now, it's become part of their training. When we trained, I mean, we didn't really even know about it, it was just the, just the beginning of gotcha. it when I was being trained. And now very often we combine implants with a little bit of fat transfer that, mm -hmm. that we can really fine tune the, the, uh, the breasts, if they need more full, filling mm -hmm. centrally or to the side or on top, that can be done with fat at the same time as an implant. So, well, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave this with you. Yeah. I think for, for women like, like yourself, yeah. what are the guidelines? If you've had implants, how long? If you're having certain symptoms, mm -hmm. what should you do? So in general, if you have implants and they're not giving you any trouble, leave them alone. That's, everyone thinks, oh, I need to change them like the oil in my car, that's not true. But you may end up having problems, and many, many people do. So if they start getting hard, if they start giving you pain and start looking bad, uh, then it's time to replace them or to take them out entirely. And that's essentially what you're looking for. Pain is the absolute key. If you have pain and you have health insurance, it'll actually cover to have them removed. Lauren, mm -hmm. we're happy that you're happy. Dr. Rogers, thanks so much for joining us and the good work that we did here.